Good morning, boss. Good morning. So we made it up to Asheville. Yeah. Always a good thing when old trustee makes it somewhere. Then when you don't have a backup for the backup, then you're in trouble. Should you guys have a backup for your backup? I know. If you're a solo guy or... A, I mean, how many backups do you need? I know. Hopefully we only need this backup, right? Yeah. She needs the last. She needs to be a good girl. Get me another 5,000 miles. I'll People be are saying that she's only just broken in, but... I'm a little nervous when my 2018 breaks down. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not a quick fix. And we still haven't heard anything on the warranty, so, but. We'll I don't know if it's different now because of, you know, everything. Like, we're still repairing, I guess, from COVID last year. They have to take pictures of the vehicle and send it to the warranty company. Yeah. So, we'll see. If they try to wiggle out of it, I will have something to say I not mean, be very because it wasn't happy. a cheap warranty i mean i could have saved the money and bought a whole new transmission yeah with that money so but we'll see they covered the water pump they might try to say that we use the vehicle too much i don't know how do you use the vehicle too much i know that's the only you know we don't hide the fact that it's used for work no um so. And we don't abuse it. We drive up and down normal wear and tear. And we maintain so. it. Mm -hmm. You know, Carl changes the oil, the brakes when he needs to. It's maintained. I mean, this one's been maintained. And so. I don't think you're supposed to service the transmission. I think the manual says 100,000 miles. But, I mean, some people will probably say you should do it before then, but it's not. I think our manual says 100,000. So, and we didn't get anything from the dealership. They tell me all the time when I need an oil change. They didn't say anything about a transmission service. Yeah, so needless to say, we did not mention anything about the air conditioner because, to be completely honest with you, I can suck up the fact that our air conditioner is broken. I just need this transmission fixed. Yeah. So. You know, I mean, um, if Because gonna... as you guys know, small guys, you save up for your winter fund mm -hmm. and a four thousand dollar transmission wipes out our winter fund mm -hmm. so that's not good no right so the boss will have to find some more landscaping but we yeah. do have a big one coming no yeah i i mean again we're not worried but it's not like we haven't it's... been in tough situations before we were recording youtube i mean we've had mowers go down when we were just starting and completely broke um, and we had to make it through it, and we made it so far. So. Yeah. But it's life. Yeah, life it's is life. life. But we're going to get out and mow this one because the client said it is, like, way long. It's not. But. but <laughs> I mean, but we'll get it done. Mm -hmm. It's not that bad. It's. I think that she was just confused that because we have some days that we have to take off. So yeah. maybe she didn't realize that we were coming this week, so. Okay, let's get going. Okay guys, here's the first one. I need a mask. Yesterday I didn't wear a mask for one minute and I, it wasn't fun. I was all coffee and sneezy. So, let me go ahead and get this done. So Rachel's almost done this one. Not bad, not bad. She made it look good. Done. I ran out of gas, so let me go get gas. Off to number three and four, so it'll be pretty easy. Here's the next one. I gotta spray all the weeds in that one. So I'm done this one. We end up spraying all the sedge in the beds on this one because of the weeds. Hopefully it works, right? It should. It's Roundup. I don't like spraying the Roundup. But that's the only thing that kills weeds. Here's the next one, guys. Rachel mows all this. All this. Right here. Remember, we pruned back these. We are coming back to do the mulch um, for this house. We finished the other house. We just got to finish this one, which is that bed, this bed, and this bed. But we've been emailing back and forth with the client, and they are 100% okay. They said, no problem, take your time. Um, they knew about the truck, so. Not bad, not that long. Now I'm just gonna hit back there with spray again so we don't have to do anything but weed eat the dead and come back and spade that edge and this edge and then we're done. Okay. I have 
have to go weed eat all this. So guys, we're taking a forced break, right, Rach? Yeah. Well, I think we were probably going to take a break anyway, but now it's like really forced to actually stay home until this stops. Yeah, we have three and a half inches in the... Wait. I'm not dealing with what I did, dealt with yesterday. Yesterday morning? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't... Look, now these peppers are starting to come back as they got more and more water. Look at that plant. Well, you know what some of these issues might be? Look at CT comes into these. Really? Yeah. See? CT comes into these and starts digging. Oh my goodness. Oh. Knocking tomatoes off. Tiny little cayenne pepper. Did you see oh yeah. <laughs> it's like a miniature pepper. And I didn't think this one was coming back, but then I see... No, I don't know if it's going to make it. The only reason I'll keep it... See all these new green leaves? Yeah. That means that it's coming back. But let me go see how much rain just in case... So in the last four or five days, we have an inch and a little bit over a half. So hopefully we get a quarter inch out of this and it's not just a nuisance. But thing with fish emulsion. Oh, have you guys seen these lately? In my garden videos, these used to look really pretty. I hacked them all the way back again, guys. So you follow us and see what happens. I hacked them back and bombarded them with fish emulsion. And I'm going to do the same on that. But we did that in the garden video. That's going to come up probably Friday this week or Saturday. A lot longer than I thought it was going to. And how much rain did we get? Oh my goodness. Wow. So that storm came through. We got an inch of rain. So we're going to have to see what happens. Might go out and mow. When it dries up because they're right down the road but like i said we're not too worried we really wanted this rain look at this squash wow that's big and there's another one that's even bigger two more everything likes this rain that we're getting in a while we get comments about we should get a speed feed head and my reasoning why i say i don't get a speed feed head is it might take me 30 seconds to a minute longer, but I used to, I always tell everybody, it gives me a break. When you're weed eating all day and you're out of string, take a minute, take your time, string your trimmer. Um, and that's what I always said. Well, I got to thinking the other day and I was like, well, how much string does a speed feed head hold? And how much string does the still auto cut hold? This is what I use. Not to thinking, I told Rachel to put a poll online and see how much a speed feed head holds because I've never used a speed feed head. I asked a friend and he told me it was 20 feet. I found that hard to believe that it was only 20 feet because I knew mine held a lot more than that. Yeah. Um, because I measure it out on trailer. So I put a poll online or Rachel did and asking everybody and we got a range. Most people said 20 to 24 feet. Oh. But Echo's site said um, 22 feet. I think up to 22 feet on the 450 speed feed. Steel said 20 feet. So going by them in the pole, it was 20 to 26 feet at the most, I would say. Yeah. So you guys let me know in the comments below how much you get in your speed feed head. Mm -hmm. and let me know if I'm wrong. Everybody told us 24 to 26 feet seems to be the consensus. So we're going to measure out how much we can fit into this spool mm -hmm. and then let you guys know and let you know, is speed feed really that extra 30 or 40 seconds worth it? Yeah. Because in the end, if I can fit just two foot more string in this over the 26 feet, it's not because I can weed eat that extra two feet which might get me 15 minutes on a line and a little side note with one spool i timed it i get between four and a half hours and five and a half hours of weed eating on um, one vary spool. between everybody because some are heavier on the weed eater some are lighter on the weed eater. right so we're going to measure this out and find out is it worth it like we said if you're ch and if it's well more than two feet then definitely isn't worth it because i'll be out of weed eat an hour longer so you have to change your spool probably twice to my one so yeah. time wise and i i sorry if i hurt anybody's feelings in that but i just i was curious yeah. i was curious is it really worth it to have the speed feed head yeah it's so you guys just... let me know can you get more than 26 feet into the head you know everybody says oh it will save you time it saves you if it's more in this 
it doesn't save you time and it definitely doesn't save you money. If money is time, it doesn't. Right. And I'm sorry to break that. I, oh, on the feed, nobody mentioned that on our, on our question. Like, well, I used the old one. Some people said it. I used the old one. Somebody even mentioned that they used the old auto cut and their, guy used, their guys used, had to change the head less often. He didn't know if it was because they didn't want to have to change it so they were lighter on the weed eater. Right. We'll find out. Right. Is it because there's a lot more string in this? Yeah. Okay, guys. So watch to see. We're finally getting rain. Oh, boy. How much? So, obviously, you guys know we didn't finish work, so we didn't record much um, mowing today. I think I only have like four minutes of video because of the rain. But so far, we're up to three and a half inches of rain. T just today? No, three and a half inches of rain. In oh, this week. Five days. Okay. Since when? It started raining. Friday, I think. Friday. Mm-hmm. So, so not even in a week. And we're supposed to get another inch and a half. But I'm not going to complain. I'm going to wish some of it over to you guys in California. And I know. You guys are really getting the drought. So what Carl's going to do right now is um, measure out the trimmer string. How much string I can get in this? Yeah, year. how many feet? So this is how much I can comfortably get into the spool right here. And just to show you guys, I'm not overstuffing it. I mean, I can go a little bit less, but see, and then I just take it over like this, take it over like this, and there you go. That's how much I can get in. So we're gonna measure the string here and see what the total amount of string in this spool is. So now doing it that way we're both both the same length um, because normally you just do the whole thing and cut yeah. it in half so I'm curious so you hold this right okay and you guys see it's right there what do I only have one right now right yeah okay right now we're at Okay, we're at 10 feet where Coral is. 16 feet, 16 feet, 17 feet, and one, two, three, 17 feet, four inches. Okay. You Whoa, Ooh. sorry. So, Okay. So that was the, and that was the longer one. Okay, so you take these two and I'm going to cut the short one. Okay. So we have 17 and 17. Oh. So we have 17 and 17, a total of 34 feet. You want me to time you, buddy? Um. Go. All right, I'm timing Carl to see how long it takes him. And I'm not going to go fast, fast. To do this string. These are the tricky parts, getting these ones in. If you get them on the first time, you're good as gold. 59 seconds, really? buddy. Yeah. So we'll do the best out of three then. 59 seconds it took you And that was to me do just that. going at a right. I should speed. actually have a stopwatch so people can see. But I guess they could see like. Do you have your phone? On, yeah. And let me see. Wait, I gotta unspool it first though. Okay, so we're actually going to do best out of three and see how quick Coral can do this. And if you guys want to play along and send us your videos, you can email us at happyslawncare777 at yahoo.com. And we'll make sure we write it because I don't know if you guys can hear it. But again, if you guys want to play along and time how long it takes best you. Best out of three. Best out of three. 
Happy's Lawn Care 777 at yahoo.com. Okay, so I'm gonna, these are my two strings here. So we're doing the best out of three. Yeah. And then we'll actually have to time it like with me doing all new string from the trailer mm -hmm. on. Okay. Because everybody has to still do that. A lot of guys go what? A lot of guys go one, two, three. And yeah. they're good for their speed feet right there. Oh, and then, oh, that's all they do. And that's it. But we're going to do that in another video. Okay. So you got to get ready to put the... The timer on. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put this as if I ran out. Again, this is my my second go at this. Okay. Here's my string. And like we said, if you guys want to do it this way, do it this way. Um, and then the real way in, in real time lawn care is if you had to get it out of the truck and do that, that would be the time to do. Yeah. But if you guys want to do this, same thing with the speed feed guys, if you want to have your string pre-cut. And go for it. I'm pretty sure if you have it pre-cut, you're getting it done in like 30 seconds. Yeah, right? because all you have to do is twist it, yeah, right? All you have to do is pull it through and twist it. But so, again, let's right? That. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. On your mark, get set, go. And the best out of three because everybody has a bumper or two, and usually when I'm under pressure, trying to do something really fast. I mess it up and it usually happens. So let's see, the, you're trying to go quicker this it time. It usually happens at the end when I go to put it in my notches is where I usually mess it up. That one did fine. And look, I didn't have my end ready. See, I'm trying to go really fast. See, I can't even find where my hole is. See, so- He had a fumble. You have a fumble sometimes when you try to go really fast, but my normal speed would be 60 seconds, right? That Your first one was 59 seconds. See, I'm trying to, I'm overthinking it. Trim her head in. Usually if you get that notch right here. And Yeah, a minute five, you guys. Did you yeah, see yeah. that? So see I tried to overdo it with speed. So yeah, a minute and five. 59. Yeah. Yeah, a minute. Like that one was like no, a minute even six. With all them fumbles. Yeah. My best time was 59 seconds. And I'm sure if I kept practicing, I could. That is that. funny, though. The one that you took your time, I think that almost just shows you guys, too, that. Speed isn't always bad. Yeah. So, guys, you just watched our little experiment to see if it was worth it getting a speed feed head, whether it's a still steel speed feed head, Echo, Husqvarna, either one. But everybody's consensus is it held 24 to 26 feet. Right. Um, you've seen us measure out the steel auto cut one. Yes, it takes me a minute. I'd say worse, two minutes to change it. I don't know how long it takes you guys to do speed feed, maybe 30 seconds, but we measured 34 feet I can fit in there. And that's um, a good 10, good eight to 10 feet more string than everybody's consensus on that question I asked. To be honest with you, it kind of seemed like you could have just measured out 35 feet and cut it in half yeah. and been able to spool it just fine. Mm -hmm. So because the one, he was spooling it when the one side was 17 feet, four inches. Yeah. So, so you guys, for comfortably for a novice, somebody who's just getting into lawn care, somebody who's got the auto cut, um, it's gonna take you obviously probably a couple more minutes to spool it. And you're probably only gonna be able to get, I'd say maybe 33 feet in. Um, 32 feet on the safe side. I okay, mean, because you know, you've been I know doing how to it for spool. so long. I've been it's doing been it for so long. It's tight. So I'll give okay. you, I'll, we'll give you two feet of a, um, what do they call that? Of a handicap. <laughs> yeah. You get two feet of a handicap. So it's between 32 and 34 feet. And that's still six to 10 feet more than all the guys said on the speed feed heads. Yeah. So in the end, I'm probably weed eating an hour to two hours longer with this one 
mm -hmm. than I am the speed feed head. So that minute that you save definitely isn't worth it if time is money, yeah. guys. So now I am curious, um, and hopefully uh, Exterminator sees this, because does he use a speed feed head? Mm -hmm. He does. Yes. And he knows what m mountain trimming is like. Yes, you he know? does. So, so, yeah, I'm curious. Let us know how many feet, you know, for sure you can get in your speed feed head. And if I'm wrong and somehow you guys are getting um, 34 feet into your speed feed, send me the video and we will correct ourselves yeah we'll say we're wrong and we did not expose the truth but, but... we need the video <laughs> proof of you getting 34 feet in there because <laughs> i we showed you our proof um, yeah but guys hopefully that didn't offend anybody and if it did just we understand the dislikes it's all, yeah it's listen it's all fun and games at this point in the season, I think that a lot of lawn care companies start feeling that burn that how am I really going to get through this season? Especially the ones in the drought areas um, that are hurting yeah, right now. Yeah, when you're hot and dry and it just, it's discouraging a little. So we just wanted to do this just to play a little game. And um, if you guys do want to send us your video clips or whatever, then... And if you want us to put them in our videos, we'll throw some up in our videos. Yeah. If, if I can manage to figure out how to get them. I know. So hopefully that works. It might have to be like a certain you guys will have to look and see it might have to be like below a certain i don't know how because we don't have dropbox or anything yeah so, so if you can figure out how to send us a video and i can figure out how to put it up i know we will put the chat your video up on our youtube channel. yeah that will be fun so so um thanks for watching we really appreciate it so please like comment share and subscribe and be happy guys or at least try have a good have night, a good night.